Black Lives Matter. My life matters. It doesn't mean anything less than yours. Yes, all lives matter, but is your life the one in jeopardy or at risk of being lost just because of the colour of your skin? How can when we try to bring up things that matter, you deflect it in your own way, in your own selfish way? Why do all things have to have some relation to you? Why can't we just have our own important message for once without you including yourself out of self-interest? How come when we talk about a death within the black community, you have to bring up a minor issue which you think is important, moreover, than an innocent life being taken from someone? How come every time we mention Black Lives Matter, which are the lives that are actually threatened, it gets turned into All Lives Matter when your life is perfectly fine and you are treated with the most upright respect, even though you may be the worst person on this planet. I am upset that so many role models have risked their lives for us or even had their lives taken and no change has still not been made. I am sick of knowing how worthy I am of this planet and how much I have to give to this world but yet I am judged prematurely based on the colour of my skin without them getting to know my soul, my personality, my talents. I'm sick of protests keep reoccurring and happening and then being forgotten with no change being made. I'm sick of people thinking that they can talk about people's skin colour as if it's the only thing that matters, both with and without words. I'm sick of people looking at Latinos thinking that they're immigrants. I'm sick of people that are so ignorant that they cannot see that Asian people look different and not all Muslims are terrorists. Also that not all black people are aggressive and killers. I am sick of you not taking responsibility of your own race when your race is the most responsible for serial killers, psychopaths and paedophiles. But yet you're so worried about our race you're not realising the problems within your own. I'm sick of the police pretending that they are here to defend us whenever we need them, but using the law that they are supposed to apply to against us. I'm sick of them having a license to go against the law. I'm sick of the government pretending that they care about these situations just to forget about it and go back to their main goal of money. I'm sick of the police using brutal force against people who have not shown any restraint. I'm sick of my brother and his friends who are either lighter or darker being harassed for details that are not applicable to what the police are there for. I'm sick of the police knowing they have power over all of us and using it to their advantage. I'm thankful to officers who helped in certain situations such as the London terrorist attack and I am truly grateful for your hard work but your system is corrupt and you know it too and nothing can be truly done as laws take hundreds of years to be changed and the corrupt system is within the higher ranks of the police system. How is it okay for you to grab a black male, push him to the floor, arrest him with his arms behind his back, turn him around and punch him when he has no way of defending himself? How come it is always our fault when things go wrong, when it is obviously the police that instigate these situations? How come a white man who shut up a church had more of an opportunity to be rehabilitated than a black male who committed fraud. How come it's okay for you to kill a black person in one second with no retaliation, but it's okay for you to let a white man shoot at you for eight hours straight? Things like that make me sick. How come when it comes to dogs and them having different breeds and different colors, it's no problem for you and you can look after them. But when it comes to someone who is the same level as you, has the same rights as you, it's a problem. How do you have the dignity to pay attention to a dog inside of a handbag but not have the dignity to stand up for rights of people who are equal to you?
how could you be happy with yourself if you are more distraught at an animal dying rather than someone who is a human? I want change and I want it now. Although it's the black people who are at risk now, who says other races won't be at risk in the future? I'm sick of your ignorance and selfishness. Educate yourself on the things that are happening in the world. So many cases of innocent people going to jail, mostly black people as they are associated with crime. And then newspapers elaborating on stories which they don't have the whole picture on. Talking about black protesters being violent when a football crowd could set fire to a whole stadium and it will just be seen as passionate fans. I'm sick of the law system and the police thinking that it's okay to arrest a black person and put them in place of a white person who was guilty just so that the statistics show that they have more solved cases than unsolved cases. Maybe instead of focusing on that black man in the alleyway, you should focus on that white male that's about to explode a building. Instead of blaming other people and other races for situations, maybe you should do your job of helping citizens stay safe and find the actual culprit of who committed the crime so that people can have dignity and justice for themselves. Racism is a horrible thing. It's not something to be proud about. Belittling people because of the way they look or the things they own is terrible and shows a lot more about you than the person you're judging. Stop looking for scapegoats and find the real problem within yourself because I'm sure most problems that you reflect on other people are based upon yourself. I am also sick of racism within my own race. Dark skins versus light skins is a way to show people of different races that it's okay to be judging black people based on their skin colour. Black people treating other black people poorly is portraying to people who watch us interact that it's okay to treat us like this. Situations where I've been in group chats with only white people and one black girl comes on and calls me rude just based on how I look. We need to fix ourselves internally as well as externally. It takes more energy to be angry at someone than being happy. It takes more muscle power to be stressed and angry at a certain race than just giving a smile. And if you do have those opinions on people's races, then don't make it public. Keep it in your head, your opinions do not matter. The people that are doing this for clout, I hope you feel disgusted with yourself because you cannot use someone's death as a way to get money or you cannot use words talking about someone's death or injustice as an Instagram picture. That's not how it works. Be a little bit sensitive and think about how others feel for once apart from yourself. Because I'm sure if it was your mother, your cousin, your father, your brother, your sister that was dead from an unjust interaction with police, it would be a different story, wouldn't it? But because of your skin colour, you have not faced those instances. The police and the law system need to become better. And it's not only the police associating with different races, but it's also them associating with things in general. Bossing into people's houses without warrants. Arresting people with no evident crime. I want justice for us all. This is meant to be a new world. This is meant to be a country of acceptance and yet we are still discriminated against. We are in a much better world than we were decades ago, centuries ago, but we still have such a long way to go. Unfortunately, we probably aren't going to live in a world where racism doesn't exist, or world peace exists, or world hunger doesn't exist, but we could try to get to at least as close as possible as we can. My heart goes out to all the families and people who have been criticised and wrongly executed or arrested for something they didn't do.
and I hope other people can put aside their differences and do the same. I'll try to have as many links as I can in the description for things such as articles, uh, protests, petitions. We all need to bet ourselves in some way, but some more than others. Thank you for watching and standing with this message.